Diamond cut quality is graded on a scale of poor to excellent or ideal. But what is super ideal? Only a small fraction of round diamonds fall into this category. Those that do are cut to fulfill two critical requirements. First, super ideals are cut within a small range of scientifically proven ideal proportions known to result in maximum light return and a balance of brightness, fire, and scintillation. Then, the diamond's 57 facets are further shaped for proven optical symmetry. This involves fine-tuning the diamond's internal mirrors so that all facet reflections overlap precisely, whether viewed from the top or from the bottom of the diamond. The precision of reflective optical symmetry can be assessed in the structured light environment of a hearts and arrows viewer. On grading reports, the basic symmetry grade does not account for reflective optical symmetry. Most triple excellence don't have it. Some may be better than others, but only the most carefully made optically symmetrical diamonds may be considered super ideal. Because they're cut with proven ideal proportions, super ideal diamonds tend to appear larger than average cuts in many lighting conditions because they remain bright from edge to edge. Proven ideal proportions have high crowns which produce good fire. Additionally, Top optical symmetry brings hundreds of internal mirrors into alignment, creating large, unbroken reflections, potentially boosting visible fire even more. Top reflective optical symmetry also results in a crisp contrast pattern, promoting a vivid on and off quality to the diamond's white and colored flashes when the diamond, the viewer, or the light source is in motion potentially intensifying scintillation. These visual benefits can vary depending on the diamond. There's no uniform standard for ideal proportions or reflective optical symmetry, so any claims that a diamond falls into the super ideal category should be backed with specific proof of performance and optical symmetry. What's certain is that top super ideal diamonds are rare, and this is why. Most diamond producers simply want a cut grade of triple excellent. That grade is far easier to achieve with much wider tolerances. The cutting angles and added fine tuning cause super ideals to take longer and finish smaller than other diamonds by double and up to 13%. In real-world terms, where a super ideal cutter using ideal angles will produce one carat diamonds, an average cutter using wider angles can produce heavier diamonds from identical starting material. Additionally, since average cutters don't spend time fine-tuning reflective optical symmetry, they can produce twice the number of diamonds a super ideal cutter can finish in the same time period. The economics explain why only a small fraction of round diamonds are cut to become super ideal. You can learn more on PriceScope's education pages covering diamond cut quality and hearts and arrows diamonds.